Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Tell me uh, your name and tell me what, where we at. Uh -huh. I'm Tisha Campbell Martin. I came to shop. <laughs> I came to uh, look and see. This is really my first time at this event, you know, where all these different vendors are here with their products and people that you wouldn't normally get to see or, or know for that matter. And um, I have people who are in the fashion industry, uh, who are friends of mine in the fashion industry and you don't get to see the person behind the face so it's really uh, behind the work so it's really uh, nice to you know come meet the people who make the the uh, beautiful things that are here. Right so it's like a little hole in the wall you find like little eclectic great You find kids. different stuff stuff that my friends may not be up on so you know I'm be up on it first. They have to say they I wore it first. No, I mean you've been in the business like at least 15 20 years I'm trying to figure uh, out. 30 a very long time. <laughs> 30 years. No, but I, I'm here, you're writing stuff now, you're producing. Mm -hmm. Now tell me the whole avenue of like an actress to producer to um, writer. I think it's really important for longevity purposes. There's, I personally, I think for, you know, to be in the business this long, it's, okay. it's, it's very important to expand. The business has changed tremendously. Uh, for people who are trying to be actors, they have to know that you have to open yourself up and do other things. You have to create your own, um, create your own work. You have to create, go to acting classes. You have to go to writing classes. You have to go to directing classes, and you have to um, be the. Um, what's the word? Sorry. Um, you have to take control of your own destiny. And it's very hard for people to grasp that because the business has changed so much. Um, since I was a young girl, it was a fair game. Anybody could get anything. And now they just keep using the same people over and over again. You know, I'm, I'm including myself in that, in that um, scenario. And so, especially if you're African American or Latino, you really have to fight to get in there. Um, and you can't give up. But again, you have to be, you have to own your own talents and you have to get in there and you have to do a lot, everything including tap dance in order to succeed. Of this uh, project I just did with my husband produced it and he also started it with Kelly Rowland, my husband Dwayne Martin and it's called The Seat Filler and um, I co-wrote it with my husband and it's about a seat filler, a guy who, um, there's a guy who falls in love with this really, really big star, and he's a seat filler at one of the award shows, but he doesn't tell her that he's a seat filler, so. It's a romantic comedy, it's very, very, it's very different in that I wanted to make, there's this thing that actors do um, when they're trying to be funny, they curse. They can't help it, they think, you know, that's how, you know, and I've been doing comedy for a while now, that wasn't my forte originally, but I've been doing comedy for a while, and trying to be funny without cursing is a very hard thing to do it's just a thing that they do it's 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 subconscious so when I was writing this film I made sure that there were no curse words there were no in words there was no you know that they had to if it wasn't in the in the script that they had to work hard to you know come across and have the heart of the film that's one of the things that I learned from Damon Wayans is you know the heart is first and then the funny will come so. Well, see, I'm old school in that area. You know, the old school is like education, as long as the values are really starting to think about putting them like a lot. Okay, first of all, I think that, um, I think there's a venue for everything. I enjoy blue comedy. Blue comedy is comedy with curse words or, you know, I enjoy that too, but I'm an adult. And I know how to censor my own child. My own child doesn't even watch TV. <laughs> One time he caught me on television and got really confused. Somebody had it on and he got really confused. He doesn't even watch TV, but that's, you know, that's the choices you have to make for your children. You have to censor your own, you know, you censor your, your family, your household. No. The thing is, is that you'll probably never see my son at a red carpet, not because, you know, I don't, I'm trying to shelter him. I wouldn't, I don't mind it, but he needs to understand, and I don't care whether it takes him until he's five years old or until he's 14 or 30. He needs to understand that what I do is a job and not something that, you know, if, you, if you've ever seen anybody on the red carpet and you see all these people yelling their name and screaming their name, and, you know, that could get really confusing for a kid, you know, like your parent is better or, you know, I just I need for him to understand that what I do is a job and 
you probably won't see him on a red carpet until that happens. Bridal shower. And <laughs> I stopped him because I promised uh, the, the woman who put this together, Casey, that I would, um, Cammy, sorry, that I would uh, stop in and see, get to see this. So I'm glad I did because there's some amazing work here, you know? Can we get just give us, you know, yeah, I am shoes? so not turning around so you can see <laughs> No, no, butt. no, no. But I mean, that is, <laughs> the color is. real big right now. And I squished my ass into this. <laughs> no? okay, that's good. The next fashion.